Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira work management tutorial, we will understand how you can configure the workflows in a Jira work management project. Now, this is in continuation with the previous tutorial about how you can configure the board. And I've explained in the previous tutorial that if you are the user of the Jira work management project and not the administrator, Jira administrator, in that case, you won't be able to edit the boards or the workflow. So you have to request your administrator Jira admin to update the board and they can change the columns accordingly as per your needs or remove the columns or the workflow status from the workflow. Now there are few things that we have seen as part of the previous tutorial that if you want to remove a status from the board and the workflow you won't be able to do it directly even though you are the admin just going to the workflow say for example I go to the project settings and go to the workflow I won't be able to do it even though I'm the Jira project admin so how we can handle that so we'll go to the workflows right and now you can see I'm in this particular business project at the moment this is the project settings so in order to achieve or update the workflow and create a copy of it you don't need to do it from the project okay so if i go to edit this particular workflow you will see that i won't be able to delete any of the statuses from here right so if i want to remove status it will show me this message that statuses can't be removed from act two workflows so how can we create a copy you'll see that it says you have to create a copy and then update it and then apply it back to this particular project so let's go ahead and understand and do it okay so in order to create the copy of this particular workflow and remove some of the statuses or create a custom transition what we have to do is we have to be the jira admin and we'll go to this settings in the right hand side okay and then go to the issues you can see here it says configure your issue types workflow screen so we want to configure the workflow right so we'll go to the workflows and this is my global setting right so global workflow so if i'll go to the workflows here this is not project specific all the workflows that are there will be visible to me right and you will see that this is the recruitment workflow that i want to update or I want to remove the status from. So I can create a copy of it and it will create a copy of the recruitment workflow and click on copy. Now on this particular copy, I can remove the statuses. Okay, if I'll select it now, because this is the inactive workflow and we can remove statuses from the inactive workflows only, not the active or the draft workflow as we were seeing in the previous video. So I can select it and I can click on remove status and now I should be able to remove it. So click confirm and you will see that it has been removed. Now because this status has been removed, now there is no transition basically from to this particular status, right? So this is not a valid case because you can't have a status which doesn't have any transition at all. So you have to basically add a transition. So say for example, I want to add a transition from interviewing to offer discussions. I can simply drag and drop this line from one status to another. And if I want to create a new transition, I can create that. I can create a new transition. I can give a new name to this transition or I can reuse the existing transition. If there is an existing transition that I want to reuse, then I can reuse. But here you will see that there are no transitions going to this status. So we have to create one, right? So I'll simply name it as offer discussions. You can provide any name as per your need and relevance and then click on add right you will see the transition has been added so the status has to have a transition once you are happy that this edit is all good in your workflow then you simply have to basically activate this workflow and assign it to the project that you are using on okay so once this is done how we can assign this workflow to the existing project right so in order to do that we'll go to the workflow scheme Okay, and in the workflow scheme, you will see that this recruitment project, right? This is the scheme for it. This is the project and the workflow that is being used at the moment is the recruitment workflow, which was the active workflow, which we used to create a copy, right? Now we'll simply edit it the scheme will edit the scheme and will assign the workflow that we just created okay so once we edit this uh, the scheme we'll simply click on this assign okay uh, not this one sorry we'll simply click on this add workflow right and we'll say add existing in this drop down select add existing and we need to select the copy of this copy of rr this is what we have just updated and we have removed if you'll select this you will see that it shows you the workflow 
that we just updated which has this particular status removed and a new transition added okay so we'll simply select that click on next now we have to specify what all issue types we want to assign okay so now with this particular project we know that there was only one issue type which was candidate we'll just select that and click on finish right if you want more issue types you can select from here but because this is a recruitment project we know that the issue type candidate should be enough so we'll simply select candidate issue type and click on finish and you will see that this particular workflow has been also associated with this particular scheme now there are two workflows okay so i do not want the old workflow at all so i'll simply remove it and now only copy of this rr recruitment workflow is available for me okay so now once i am happy i have to make sure that i publish it so once i'll publish it this workflow should be applied to the project there are few more steps that we have to follow after you'll we'll publish you'll it will say that this is the current current status right and in the new status where do we want this status because this is the status that we have removed right so if there were any issues in this particular status where do you want those issues to be moved in the new workflow so you select say for example i want to move them to offer discussions okay interview de debrief to offer discussions and then associate so once you'll say associate it will start the publishing of the workflow scheme for this rcv recruitment project let it finish once it's finished the migration is happened click on acknowledge and you'll see the workflow your workflow has been published message and now if i go to the recruitment project i will see that the new workflow the new board is here right so we have offered discussions accepted rejected and approved the other status or the column that was there which we renamed in the previous workflow is no more right so this is how you are going to edit your workflows in jira work management project it's a bit tricky little bit tricky but you have to just understand the flow of how you will create the copy so from the project settings of a particular project you can't create a copy so you have to go to the jira administration workflows where you can see all the workflows you create a copy edit the workflow edit the copied workflow basically which will be the inactive then you go to the scheme workflow scheme and associate the new edited workflow to the scheme and remove the old one which you do not want to see and that's how you will basically edit the workflow now if you are an admin changing the column order is just like dragging and dropping on the screen okay so this is pretty simple but rest at anything which is behind this particular board is little bit tricky so watch this tutorial i hope this will be helpful to make you understand how things are tied up and help you in editing the board settings configure the board in jira work management project and configure or edit the workflow in jira work management projects so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching